We're the Dorkeries. We're the Pew, pew. Yes, today is another fun day of storking out. Let's dork. Over what we love. One of my favorite things. Does anybody know what one of my favorite things is? It might be my very favorite thing. Whoa, that is a bold statement. But is it? Because it's, I mean, it. I mean, I guess if you're like, like if you go back to the origin of your dorkiness, right? The origin yes. of, of Lady Dorkery's dorkiness. <laughs> the origin of my dorkiness, it, the origin begins in a galaxy far, far away. Star Wars! <laughs> Star Wars. So, a couple of fun <laughs> things to show you that are Star Wars related. Uh, first, one thing is a surprise to Lady Dorkery. So, we'll like, kind of get like her. Friends. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what she says. And I like also, to know, though, when surprises come, are these like, look what I bought myself, surprise, or is it like, surprise, I bought you something? <laughs> if you like it a lot, I will always give it to you. Okay, That's how so we'll I see. am. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, so, here's the thing. What One thing that I love about uh, a recent thing of Star Wars is that it expanded the universe not just in the show itself of Star Wars, but expanded the universe of fans. Like, you got people who aren't normally into Star Wars are tuning in on Disney Plus, right? Yeah. They're tuning in so on Disney Plus. Mando. And they're watching The Mandalorian. The and Mandalorian. they're like, oh my gosh, this is like a Western in space. Or this is, you know, a really great love story. I have of always compared Star Wars to a Western. Uh, absolutely. I think even George Lucas would, would say that. So uh, so there was one character that, you know, just became huge. Yes, Mando. Uh, no. <laughs> yes, Mando's huge. Everybody loves Mando. Just but there's, kidding. There's one again that kind of said, all right, this little guy is going to make people who don't normally love Star hey, Wars. can I bring him in on this? Uh, absolutely. Full baby Grogu. Look at him. Isn't he cute? Got his ball. Oh, yeah. So that's my night. I love this. You guys have seen this. There's tons of YouTube videos. Uh, Sideshow Collectibles. Life Size Grogu has actual hair. <laughs> so Lady Dorkery, uh, one of the things that obviously we love is, is comics. We love, uh, you know, anything like that. And Boba Fett, for example, we have his first appearance in comic, uh, Star Wars number 42. This is right above Lady Dorkery's head. His actual first appearance uh, in uh, outside of the comic form was in a magazine, a larger comic form. Uh, so this... Okay. It's Grogu's. Grogu's first comic? First, well, he's not in comics yet, but this is as close to comics as we can get. I'm kidding, I know. He and he's drawn comic. by a comic artist. Okay. Peach Momoko. Okay. So, we, you know, I, some things I like, some things I'm like, oh, but when she does Star Wars, I love her Yoda cover. Here you go, Lady Dorkery, the very first Star Wars Insider number 200, the first appearance of our friend. Grogu, cover by Peach. Peach, Mimoko. this is beautiful. Yeah, look at all the colors in there that she did. I, I love, love her little signature on the bottom. Yep. Yeah, so, uh, and I was super excited to get that. Now, a lot of them are sold out online. I encourage anybody that's a fan of not just the art, but Grogu. I mean, this is just a beautiful display piece. Uh, I would go out and find it on eBay now before it gets crazy expensive. So I love this because expensive. this is like the Mando ad. Yeah. And then this is like her take on it. Yep. And the colors are so pretty. Yep. She did, she did fantastic on that. And what's better than a trade dress, uh, but also a virgin like copy. Like a virgin. Ooh. I touched for the very first time. Or did. <laughs> so, here is the uh, uh, virgin copy of Peach Momoko's first Grogu Star Wars Insider number 200. What do you think? So, of, this is no writing on it. No writing. Virgin. It. So, it's just the, the back. Look, look, this is back, like. What does the back look like? I'm this? sure it's exactly the same. Do you know that this is on the back? It's got some corner damage. Mm, I see what you're doing. Some little I scratches. see what you're doing. You can read it, Lady Dorkery. I thought you wanted to have it graded. No, no, no. Not when you're going to point all that out, because when it comes back at CGC 8.5, you're going to be like, well, there's six creases there. You could just buy me another copy. <laughs> uh, you could buy me another copy. No, copier. read that one. It's all good. I like to read it, and there's so many fun articles They're not in super here. expensive right now, so. Oh, my gosh. What is this? How 
to work the Wookie look. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I don't think I can pull that one off, but these are, so. Oh my gosh, Bantha track. Yes, what's what is what is always in a Bantha track? Bantha poop. Oh, I just want a Bantha <laughs> a Bantha cookie from Galaxy's Edge. Oh yes, good stuff. There's know. all kinds of. I, I think if you read it, it says. 200 reasons we love Star Wars because this is issue 200. So they're just giving you all kinds of things they love about Star Wars. Yes, you're definitely going to need to read this one. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting sidetracked no, all good. in here. You know, we're just... We're I saw you... a picture of Carrie Fisher. Reading time with Lady this. Dorkery. Oh, look at that. that. Yeah, that was on there. The Princess of Alderaan. Beautiful. Beautiful planet, Alderaan. I can't believe it got blown up. Death Star. Um, I used to have a shirt that was like the daily forecast oh, yeah, for Alderaan. of Alderaan <laughs> and it was like 50 degrees, yes. 60 degrees yep. and then day. it got to Wednesday and it was like <laughs> 10 billion degrees and it was like Alderaan. A ball of fire. And that was a fun shirt. Okay, look at this. Seriously, this is in here and I'm keeping this and I'm going to read all okay. of it. It says six pivotal planets. Okay. Say this six times fast. Okay, six. Six Star Wars Star worlds. Wars worlds. Six Star Wars six worlds. Six Star Wars worlds. Six Star Wars worlds. Six Star Wars worlds. That had a seismic impact on the Skywalker okay. saga. I can name these. Uh, Alderaan. Got to be on the list. Not on the list. <laughs> what? Who made this list? Not on the list. Mustafar. Okay. Bespin. Okay. Indoor. Okay. Exegol. Naboo. And what do you think the last one is? Fun. Tatooine. 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 It Tatooine. says birthplace of Anakin Skywalker and home of Luke, Luke Skywalker. Skywalker. Who's, you know, he's stuck on the planet. He's pissed off. He's like, everybody else is going to fight things. This is really fun that this was in here because we didn't plan this. I okay. just found it in the thing. Oh, segue. But, yes, but it reminds me that so when, the other reason when I'm here. visiting Tatooine and I'm looking for... A power converter. A power converter. You need to go to... Or just some fun with my friend Biggs. Tashi Station! I like to go to Tashi Station! That's right. We made some new friends, Lady Dorkery. Tashi Station Comics. That's their stickers right there. That's pretty cool. That's your really good. We need our own stickers. Okay, first of all, I really want to know how one comes up with such a cool name. Yes. Because like Tashi Station. Well, they're obviously Station, ner nerds like us. Tashi Station isn't like prominent it's, in the film. He says it to Uncle Owen. He's like, but I want to go to Tashi Station and get me a power converter. Right, it's and he's not like, like a Bro, you got to clean the joints up. It's... It's done. Their little logo's done yes. in Star Wars font, close to Star Wars font, like it, it looks like Star Wars font. And it's just really cool because I'm super dorky. I cannot wait to show you guys my office and all my Star Wars pictures in there. Um, so to have, I need more dorky goodness yes. for my room. Where do I go pick it up? Tashi Station. Tashi Station. I just think it's so clever that like that was their, they follow it, they're like, we're going to sell Star yes. Wars team things. So, we love slabs, right? I mean, obviously. So, we love putting them on the wall. Now, I will say this. Like, you know, these are great. And what I do when I go on the shelf normally is I got more of these, and they actually turn around, and they make like Where a, you put both of them. So, right now, you've got one on top and one on yeah, bottom. So they're, but you flip it like this. Like a picture Boop, stand. And then it's like an easel. Yes, like an easel. Thank you. And so, I put it on there, and it, it's okay. I mean, it works, it but works. it's not... It's not this. It's not what I call aesthetically pleasing. It's not a Death Star slab stand. That's a big moon. That That's <laughs> no moon. That's no moon. Guys, we're not playing. These are the real dorky conversations so, we have with our So house. what do you think, Lady Dorkery? That is a beautiful... It's beautiful. Beautiful. Now, the first thing that caught my eye, like, here's one thing. Like, people are always worried about, like scratching their their stands or you know if I put it on the bottom what's gonna happen good job Tashi you put a beautiful little cushion there at the bottom here we have foam to yes. support your plastic yeah I bet you got that from Tashi station right <laughs> next to the power converter okay, aisle. so this is what it looks like sitting on Drew's desk what do you got for us? going the wrong way <laughs> you are going back. This is Star Wars in reverse. One of my favorite Star Wars characters. 
Darth Maul. Darth Maul. Ray not, Park. Not the really Phantom a lot to Menace. do with the Death Star, but, you know, it still works because it's Star Wars. All right, so it gives us a little prop there. There it is. I mean, look how easy that went in. That's sweet. Wow. That's what she said. <laughs> That looks um, cool. Okay, so this is what it would look like on Drew's desk, right here in front of his slab wall, which is super cool. Um, but love about this. Well, I okay. love everything about it. But one of the cool things is that on Drew's desk, you got a view from the front, and then we have chairs back there, so you have a view on the back. So you don't just have like the Death Star and a really cool Star Wars comic, but oh, I like this. Look here yep. on the little support yep. system. Yep. You got a whole nother display yep. area for your action figures. Yes. Ac wait, these are not action figures. For your Lego. Yeah. <laughs> hey everybody, my name's Luke. I need to go to Tasha to get me a... I want to hang out with my friends. Power converter. I don't want to be a farmer. I don't think I have a big, so we're going to do these. You don't have a big? Do they make so. a big Lego? I'm sure. There you go. Hey everybody, how you like my power converter? Hey Storm Trooper, look, I told Uncle Lars to shove it. I'm gonna go get one. <laughs> so Nobody's gonna stop me from getting my power converter. Hey, you like it? I like it? to call this business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> So I bet when Tashi Station Comics was building these, they never like envisioned Lego party on the Maybe back. Maybe they did. Maybe they did. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst Luke Skywalker voice. What, what about me? I'm a stormtrooper. Ooh, I like your power converter. I wish I had a power converter. This is all going on on the Death Star, too, by the way. Oh, that's cool. Yep, first appearance of Boba Fett in the uh, Death Star. Hey, everybody, I'm a bounty hunter, and I'm in the Death Star, too. Is that a power converter you got? <laughs> oh, hey, everybody. Oh, 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 I'm on the back of a... Of a slab stand, but it's awesome because there's a power converter from Toshi. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we all about the power converter? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, one more, one more. Oh, son, where'd you get that power converter from? <laughs> Oh, Dad, thanks for asking. Oh, it's a Tashi Station. I got it from Tashi Station. Do you like it? It's <laughs> it's it was one for twenty, two for thirty. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good deal on a power converter and a slab stand. Oh, thank you, Dad. I love you. That's your dad. Yeah. Guess what? You're my sister. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. What do you think, Lady Orgreen? <laughs> so, thank you, Tashi Station, for not only giving us a beautiful slab stand. Something to play with. But something to play <laughs> and play our Legos on. I'll be doing that all through the work week now. <laughs> no doubt. As it stands on my desk. Just for that, I'm going to let you keep it in your office. Yeah! I feel like there's going to be countless hours of entertainment for Drew. Yeah. During the work day. In all seriousness, reach out to our friends, Tashi Station Comics, on Instagram. We'll put a link to that below so that you reach out to them. 20 bucks for that. You see how much fun we had for 20 bucks? That was well <laughs> worth it. Uh, you can get two of them, twice the fun, for $30. Uh, so, in all seriousness, thank you so much, Tashi Station, for uh, sending us those. We love it. It is perfect for our Star Wars... Star, Star, Star Wars? Wars. Star, Star Wars, Wars dorkiness. Uh, so, that was a lot of fun. Oh. Where is your pew pew? It's right here. So in the meantime, go talk yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Tachi. Get your power converters.